now that old crackpot is back on her feet, it's time for me to start thinking about bodywork up front here. Coming right up. Yeah, so next step up here, right here where I sit, I need obviously an engine, which I haven't got at the moment. I've got a nice surprise coming up in that department soon. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for that one. It's going to be fun. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to start working on the bodywork up front. The first piece I need to look at is this front end section, nose cone, I don't know, you can't call it that, I don't know what you call it. So let's have a look at that. So this front end piece, the radiator mounts to it, contains the bottom, in the bottom here, the catch for the bonnet, which is going to rest here. The side mud guards connect here. Headlights are fitted onto it. That's quite an important piece, I suppose. Um, but yeah, look at the state of it. So you can see here in this section, some more reasons why I've called this truck old crackpot. <laughs> Cracks here, lots of rust, patch pieces, badly welded in place, etc. I'm not interested in that, so I'm going to start by removing all the fat, as it were. I'm going to cut all this shit out. So I'm going to use the plasma cutter and this section that I've marked out, I'm going to get rid of it and cut it out of the picture. There we go. <laughs> so we call it weight reduction. <laughs> so just looking at this patch piece here, badly welded. Um, this whole section is completely cracked underneath. This is where the radiator attaches. But I've got this section here, which is good and strong to locate the radiator. I'm just going to cut this out as well. Okay, Laka, so I've got this whole piece cleaned up. Looks a lot better, don't you think? But anyway, so yeah, it's just loosely back on the truck so we can see where we're going. Um, you can see I've cut all of this out here now, as well as this piece here that was all cracked up and badly welded. Same on that side. The radiator fits in here in the center section. I'm still going to clean this up. I'm just leaving it in place now to keep things lined up so I'm going to now make a new profile to put in here to provide the other hole for the radiator my wife says I shouldn't be wearing this jacket <laughs> on, on my videos <laughs> yeah, it's not a fashion parade I don't care it's my workshop jacket it's warm it's tattered I know but it <laughs> I love it Okay, so this piece of plate is going to go from here and connect to the top. As you can see there though, it needs that profile. So let's go and bend it up. I've got this, shall we call it a baby branding brake that I built sitting on the edge of my table. Works like that. And then because I want that bend to have a radius, I've got different sort of forms I can stick in here. This one has got a piece of pipe on the edge that diameter. So that's roughly what I want my um, piece of plate to bend around. I'm going to now put my piece of plate in here. And just square it up. Tighten this down. Right, and now I can just give it a bit of a bend. I reckon 
That's probably enough. There you go. And there we have it. Yes, the weather is atrocious out here. Listen to the rain on my roof. And cold. Man, you can freeze the balls off a brass monkey. <laughs> okay, so I need to just pick up the mark now here yeah, for bending it the other way. It's roughly there, it's quite close. Yeah, I just want to get it on my mark. Make sure it's parallel. And a bit of a tap. Just move it up. Staying parallel. It looks about right. Yeah. Okay, let's go and try it. Yeah, pretty close. It's a little overbent, but I can fine-tune that once I've tacked it in place. So I've got this piece on the bench now. I've put in this piece of angle bar just temporarily, just to help me to keep things lined up. And I've cut my piece of plate to length. So now I can do something like this and line it up nicely. It's a little out here, but I can bend it down once I've tacked it on this side. Just got to check that side. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I'll fine tune the edges here when I've got everything tacked in place. Can you see the <laughs> condensation? I'm not smoking. That's how cold it is here. Okay, I've turned it over to check the other side. I'm just using a screwdriver here to just lift it up a little bit. So my tack can be in the right place and it lines up. That looks pretty good. So I think I can weld it. A piece of plate is in place, fully welded. I'm just going to grind it a little bit, clean it up. Here you go, my new piece is in. Um, I grinded it on this side. This is the side facing forward on the outside of the row or whatever we call this thing. Um, this material is Quite thin, it's the same thickness as the rest, which is about 1.6 millimeters. Um, because the radiator actually bolts through this, I do feel it's a little thin. So I'm gonna just back it up by welding in this piece of flat bar, like so, so that I've got a bit more meat. This is a piece of 30 by 6. <laughs> My wife tells me today is the coldest day in South Africa in the last 10 years, according to the news. So yeah, while the rest of the nation is sitting in front of their fireplaces and heaters, what is this asshole doing? Working metal. Look at the snow on our mountain. Okay, I've welded this piece on the inside or the back. That should beef it up nicely. So this right hand piece is in terrible condition as you can see. And here in the front where it connects to the front piece or whatever you call this front apron. You can, <laughs> you can see there's very bad stress cracks there. Well I'm just going to have to fix the thing. I'm going to start by just cutting off everything here into a nice straight line.
to straighten it all up and give it some extra strength I'm going to weld on this piece of uh, 25 by 3 angle bar what's that about an inch by an 8 say eh? and to make it follow the profile of this piece I just had to bend it a little bit here so I might want to add a piece here like so later on when I've tacked it on Well that certainly stiffened it up nicely and straightened it. So next up this piece that goes in here. I'm just going to give this small piece of plate a 90 degree bend. There you go. And now I'm just busy patching in the new piece here. Okay, I got that sorted out. Now, gotta do something about this. I'm gonna use the original metal as a template. So I will just mark it here. And there's another hole. And then. I'll cut the new piece out and cut this old away and put the new piece in its place. I've made a nice new piece and I am now going to cut this away. This old stress crack piece and then this is going to go in there like so in its place. <laughs> So this is not a final fit of these pieces, I'm just doing a trial run to see how it's all going to work out. This piece that I repaired here is a brace piece, it holds the front cradle so it connects that to the body. Um, so I've cut away the inner fender, um, I'm not going to have an inner fender anymore, but hell it's a rat rod eh? <laughs> Originally this whole section here was fully plated, I've cut it all away, it's all open here now, I'm going to leave it exactly like that. <coughs> yeah, no, it won't fall off. <laughs> so yes, I've got the original grill shell up here temporarily just to check things out. Um, I never knew it was made of aluminium. <laughs> That's changed my plans a little bit. Like the rest of the truck, or many parts of the truck, it's in pretty bad shape. But I'll sort it out <laughs> rat rod style. <laughs> uh, one of the things I'm going to do here, I've already started filling in here. Uh, the original indicator lenses were very bad. So instead of uh, finding new ones, 
I decided I'm just going to do my own thing. So I'm going to fit my own indicators up here. Um, I'm definitely going to build a new grill. Needs to go in there. Yeah, and a few other things. We'll see where we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, I wouldn't mind if you press the like button. You're welcome to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Cool.